our worship is filled with songs that declare our unworthiness and His holiness, our need and His compassion, our hopelessness and His salvation. This is why we sing, why we bow, why we surrender our lives. For Jesus alone is worthy, and we will worship Him forever. While we live on this earth, until He returns, we'll tell His story and declare our devotion and love for Him to the world.
This man, yeah. somebody's heart was pricked and said, I don't want to be a part of something like that. So just be much in prayer for those that showed up to with us today. Be much in prayer for those that's on Facebook. As we have Facebook Live at 11 each Sunday. If you miss a Sunday or you want to go back and you just didn't get enough, uh, you can go to our website and all our services are loaded on there. Uh, Carrie does a good job getting those on there and you can watch uh, those. But I, I do ask don't go back too far because you might hear something that I can preach again. So we may start on rerun here before long. So, But we appreciate you being here today. We, this is our, seven, our 11 o'clock service. We've been here since 7 this morning. So if we seem a little tired, a little draggy, then that's okay. But uh, we're going to do our best to push through. Choir uh, has their cantata today, so it'd be a special day for them. They've been working since January on this, right after the Christmas cantata. They switch gears and go into Easter music. And um, so right after they're singing of the birth of Jesus, they start singing of the resurrection of Jesus. So uh, we're just going to sing about Jesus year-round, and I believe that'll be all right. So, But we have Wednesday nights at 5.30, Bible study, and kids' choir. All those activities will resume again this week. We were off last week for spring break, so enjoy. hope you enjoyed your break, but we're ready to get back this week and finish up. Just have a few more weeks, and then we'll be stopping for the summer months for the kids being out of school, so we just have a few more weeks uh, to the end of May, so let's get involved in that and help with that all you can. A few events that are happening, Tuesday, April the 11th, uh, Women's Night of uh, Fellowship, 530 in the Family Life Center. Tabitha, you need to know that registration by today. Painting door hangers, is that correct? Yeah, y'all yeah, be painting your custom door hangers. So please let Tabitha know today. It's not too late. Just let her know today. That way she can have everything here for you Tuesday night. Saturday, April the 15th is the men's breakfast at 8 o'clock. Uh, looking forward to that. I'm going to go ahead. He's, he's let it out of the bag, but Brother Kip Brady is doing our devotion that morning, chairman of our deacon board. We're all looking forward to it. So if you want to come and and be charged and, and see what the vision of the church is going to be with the men of the church, please come. We'd love to have you join in with us. Um, Thursday, April the 20th is Ladies' Lunch at 1130 in the Family Life Center. And Saturday, April the 29th is our barbecue. Uh, Lisa has tickets for those. We need to get those uh, tickets sold and turned in. Um, we'll be uh, doing the plates and delivering the plates this year. So if you have a business that needs 10 or more plates, just tell them we'll get them dropped by to them. We have some people volunteering. Uh, and then the last announcement we'll make today will be May the 7th is May meeting. That'll be communion, foot washing, dinner on the grounds. We ask that you bring a side dish and a dessert for the church to furnish a meat for that. So please come be with us and enjoy that. Uh, prayer list this week, we have several on there. Uh, we ask that you keep remembering Brother Gene Addis. He was actually here with us this morning for sunrise service. Seems to be doing better. Keep remembering him. He's here. There he is. I looked over here and you wasn't over here. That seat was taken. I looked right here. So, like I said, I've been here since seven. Or well, I've been here since five. So, but uh, brother Gene, he's doing well. You you want to say anything to everybody, right quick? Yes, I just want to thank everybody for calling me for the cards and so forth. And make no mistake about it, I had some help from up above. Amen. Because I was told this ain't good. But it turned out quite well. Yeah. So I was released officially Thursday morning. My doctor said, okay, I see nothing else. You're free to have a good Easter. Okay, thank you very much. And that was it. Yeah. Amen. I knew when I went by the hospital to see him, I knew it was in foul shape because he said, the food ain't that bad here. <laughs> so... I knew his taste buds were messed up, so, but we're, yeah, so we're glad to have him back with us. Keep praying for him. Johnny Eubanks, pray for him. Uh, Carolyn Stowers, uh, she's doing better and from what talked to Seth yesterday. She seems to be doing better. Ronnie Peels, Alicia's uncle. Also, his granddaughter, Brooke, uh, she is 28, 29 weeks pregnant, correct, Alicia? 28, 29 weeks pregnant, and as we speak right now up in Virginia, they're taking her baby with, because of complications. So that baby is very small and going to have a long time in the NICU and just hoping and praying that it's able to, uh, to make it and survive. So pray for mom and baby in that situation. Uh, Bill House, keep praying for him. He has a PET scan tomorrow. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah, he has a PET scan tomorrow, so pray for him. He has good results. David Cooper, Leon Pruitt, Leon's uh, 
one of our elder members here, and he is declining hospice situation from what we understand, so please remember him, and of course, VBS. Um, VBS will be June the 12th through the 16th, and you can register here. The board's out front to sign up, and uh, please be involved in that. Volunteer training is Wednesday, April the 19th and the 26th at 6 p.m. in the sanctuary. Um, don't worry about if you have a class or something. They'll get someone to cover for you and have those covered where you can be in those. Need to attend both. If not, if you can't attend both, please attend one of those trainings if you're helping. Any other announcements? Anything I've missed? Tony, I have a prayer request. My friend Sarah, her sister-in-law, was walking me down the street last week. I made it short, and a piece of a building fell off and hit her in the head. Just remember that. Anyone else? Prayer request. Okay, we thank you for being here. We're going to turn it over to our choir. We children's church today or no? No. Okay. I was trying to motion to everybody before I got up here and everybody was focused. So, uh, anyway, so we'll be no children's church today. We'll keep them in here with us since it's the choir singing. And uh, having that, everybody can enjoy the Easter holiday together. If you would, stand to your feet. We'll receive the morning offering. Go to the Lord in prayer. Appreciate everybody that's here. Oh, one announcement I don't want to miss. We have a wonderful welcome back visitor today. Amen. Brother Sean Carnahan's back with us today. <laughs> you want to say anything, Brother Sean? Yeah, what a... <clears throat> I'd like to thank everybody for their prayers and their visits to me while I was in the hospital. Uh, I uh, I wish I could say the same things that Brother Gene did about his in the food at his hospital. Uh, apparently, mine didn't get the memo. <laughs> say this, that uh, I thank God, especially for uh, placing just what I needed from the moment that I had the stroke, placing exactly what I needed in my path from the moment I had the stroke till now. I mean, everything that I needed was right there. Amen. And every prayer, every prayer that was whispered was answered. And you got the best nurse in the world, don't you? I do. <laughs> I do. Yeah. Yeah. Sean, we love you. I know his food wasn't that good because when I took him by chicken salad chick, he it was gone in like two bites. He was excited <laughs> to have some good food. Allison, you want to say anything? I just, I mean, I can't thank you guys enough for everything. I mean, anything we've needed, you've done. Uh, and Again, we appreciate you being here this morning. We love all of you. We appreciate you. Uh, any other announcements before we go to the Lord in prayer? Bow our heads and let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this beautiful resurrection morning. God, we thank you for the wonderful crowd we can look out and see and for each one of them that's here. God, we just pray today that your hand be upon each one of them in a special way. Lord, uh, that this Easter may be a special Easter for them. Lord God, they'll remember this service throughout the rest of the year. Lord, it'll create a desire in them as you got up that morning, 
uh, from that grave, Lord God, you got up and you walked out. It'll encourage them throughout the rest of the year. If Jesus can get up after death, I can get up during life. God, I'd pray that you would encourage them, that this church loves them enough that we uh, desire to see their face. We desire for their presence just as they desire to see the presence of the Lord. God, we thank you again for this place on the side of the road that you've set aside to worship a true and a living Savior. God, we thank you for our way of worship because it's your way. God, we just ask you today that you bless our choir as they sing these songs, each special, each narration, everybody that has a special part. God, we pray that you put a special hand upon them. God, for the little message to come afterwards, we pray that you have your will and way with it. And God, just this altar. God, we'd pray today that you would open this altar so wide that men, women, boys, and girls would not have to wait for the altar call. They would know that Jesus is here waiting to comfort, to hold, to console, to lift up, Lord God, to, to put things behind. Lord God, we just ask you today that you'd let them uh, come today on this resurrection day and be that of resurrected from that old body and be made new. The Bible says all old things passed away, all things made new. I become a new creature in Christ. God, I thank you today for the resurrection. I ask you, you bless this offering for the upbuilding of thy kingdom. You go with us, lead God direct, for it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. There you go. practices you kind of know that <laughs> we could practice everything up until March and it could change April 1st so. <laughs> oh, and I love my choir because um, there are so many wonderful songs that we do about Jesus and to try to pick one or to, uh, just a few to kind of speak his message it can be really hard so I thank them because they've had a great input on the songs that we've chosen for today and um, we pray that you will get the message in it I love how God tied our sunrise service um, and the messages in this song and tied it in with today. Uh, one of the songs, it t goes up, takes us back to creation and how God had this in his plan and had you in his plan 
all this time. And he has him, he's had his plan for us to be here today. And so I pray God will bless you in a special way. Um, if you know any of these songs, you are always welcome to sing along with us. And um, I love you, choir. I truly do.